Yuck, a yuggy ye. I'm Mr. Charlie. Um, today I, I was asked by Miss Rain if uh, if I could share with you guys and get a short video on how to make a miniature paddle. Um, I have an example right here. The smaller paddle, it's about the size of my hand, and it is scaled off of a traditional paddle built for me that when you're building a paddle it should land between your chin and your nose um, and you can see a very similar shape scaled down version um so to give me an idea of how i came down with that scale I placed my large paddle and backed away from it until when I held my hand up, my hand was the same length as that large paddle. So right then I knew that to build a replica of that size, I would need a piece of wood that's as long as my hand. Um, and looking at it that far away, I noticed that the blade was about two fingers wide. The entire paddle was the length of my hand. The blade was about two fingers wide. So in order to do this project, I'm going to need a piece of wood that is a little bit longer than my hand. And let's say three fingers wide. For this job, you'll need a piece of wood about the length of your hand, three fingers wide. And we'll also need a small handsaw, a scissor, and I chose some carving knives that were similar to knives that you might find in your toolbox. Not the fancy bent knives that, that I use for Northwest Coast carving, but a rounded point and a straight point. These are two typical knives that you would probably find on a pocket knife. It, um, if you look, this pocket knife is kind of in between both. So going back to where we were, you'll also need a small hand saw. I live in Klinget Ani, Sitka, up here in Southeast Alaska. Fortunately, we don't have any red cedar here in Sitka, but we do find them when we're out on the beach quite a bit, beach combing, going in the skip and stuff. A few years ago, my son was, was home visiting me and we went out to cruise off an island outside of ours. And we found some very nice cedar logs. We brought them into town and we, Cut them up into rounds, and from rounds they went into our fireplace. We really like to burn cedar here; it burns hot and clean. But those rounds, if you can imagine a round of wood, we split them into quarters. And this one here is about an eighth. Um, I do know that I need a piece of wood that's three fingers wide, and it looks like right about up here is where three fingers wide is going to be. I don't know if we can see closely, but there are some grain lines there. And if you look at a log, it's very similar to a fingerprint. It has, has growth rings in it. And my lighting isn't very good, but they are running this way, kind of in an arch. Um, I'm going to come up into here where, where it's about three fingers wide and split this off. And then I'll split another one, uh, another one. We'll, we'll watch and see here. And we'll come up into the log or the round where it's about three fingers wide and split that off. Uh, and I wanna make sure that my whatever I'm splitting it with is, is square with the grain, it is. Okay. 
is a long shape and it's wide. I'm gonna come up and take a piece off about like that. And instead of using my axe, I'm gonna use a, an older tool here called a fro. And the cool thing about a fro is it'll help me. Nice. So this is how we would split a plank. over the length of my hand, we're good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and mark it to length. It needs to be about the length of my hand. Put this one. 